This book is so good, man. But I didn't realize that afterwards there are some things that are lacking. The goal of letting go is the elimination of the very source of all suffering and pain. Make a decision to let go of all blocks to happiness, success, health, acceptance, love, and peace. But little did I know that there was actually a lot more that you can do to let go. The reason I started reading this book, and I actually got it recommended by Amazon while I was buying Power vs. Force by David Hawkins, but I had it but didn't read it for a while until this guy named Julian, he was making videos about letting go. And in that video, he said that letting go is his favorite book of all time. The way, my favorite book of all time is Letting Go by David R. Hawkins. I disagree with a lot in that book though, but it's my favorite book of all time. If I was stranded on an island, that'd be the number one book I'd take with me. Love it. So I wanted to watch that talk again. And to my surprise, he actually posted another video on letting go just one day ago. It was perfect timing. And this new video that he posted goes into more depth about how to let go. So one of the things when it comes to letting go in the book is that when these uncomfortable emotions pop up, you let it go, you let it be and you sit with it and it's okay to feel those emotions and you focus on the feeling. But Julian talks about that there's a whole reservoir of repressed emotions. And if you're just letting go at the annoying things at the time, that's just still dealing with the surface. If you want to tap into the reservoir, you have to use what's called shadow questions to dive deep. So some examples of these shadow questions are, why do you feel incomplete without a partner? Why do you not feel good enough? Why do you not deserve success? Why do you feel low value? Those are some examples. And he said, don't discount them and say, no, that's not true. I don't think that way. And don't stay at the surface level with your answers. You have to dive deep. So I haven't actually answered these questions yet. I am going to do them in a stream of consciousness writing and see what I come up with. I might get stuck for a while while I'm trying to answer these why, why, why questions and diving deeper into diff different levels of why. But I'm actually excited to see what I'll, uh, what, what I'll come up with while answering these questions. Maybe I'll get to the root of my insecurities. I left a comment on his video and one of the things I said in that comment was that I'm watching these videos of myself that I keep posting every day. And while I'm watching myself, I can see that I'm kind of blocked. I can see that I'm not totally free. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say when I'm saying I can see that I'm blocked and not free. Maybe you completely understand and you don't need any further explanation. But I know there's a free state where there's just no blockage and everything is just, like there's no barriers between my inner self and what comes out. It's like societal and social programming and all this built up stuff that's blocking me. And everyone's blocked to different degrees. But when I just watch my videos and I see myself, I'm like, mm there is this blockage that I can see. So I'd like to peel back those layers of the onion and try to undo most of the, most of the blockage if I can. Anyways, I'll let you know what happens after I do my stream of consciousness writings with the shadow questions. I haven't been walking every single day, so time to get back into the habit. It's snowing, but not too cold today. There are a couple birds eating the bird seeds that I spread outside. One percent better every day, baby.